Uh, thank you. It's a, it's a relief to be out after uh, a week. This is certainly um, unexpected. I didn't expect something that uh, happened from 10 years ago to sneak up on me in, uh, in Germany. But this isn't really about me. It's about uh, the fact that we're killing off all our sharks and our whales in our oceans. And uh, I had to take action with my crew a decade ago to protect hundreds of sharks. And of course, uh, those shark poachers have very powerful allies in government and other places. So I guess we just have to see how the uh, justice system works out here. Although it's very strange that uh, this so-called extradition thing was uh, dismissed by Interpol in every country except for Germany. Uh, there's no, I haven't got an explanation for that, but maybe the courts will enlighten us on that. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, the support has been uh, incredible all over the world. And I'm hoping that we can uh, direct that support towards uh, putting attention on the fact that our oceans are dying, that our sharks are being destroyed, our whales are being illegally killed, and that we have all the laws and the regulations we need to protect our oceans, but we don't have governments with the guts in order to enforce those regulations, which leaves it for people like ourselves to do the job that governments should be doing. All right, Paul, what's happening up? now? Can you leave Germany? Is it all over? I gather I'm out under a house arrest in Germany, uh, so I can't leave Germany Unbelievable. Until, until there's um, uh, some sort of a decision. Yeah, so, so we, uh, and I may apologize upon this, um, we will not comment on the case itself, so because actually we have not yet access to all the files, so there will be no comment on the case itself. But all we can say is that the High Regional Court granted bail, which is the first step in the right direction. So um, with the High Region Court in Frankfurt, um, it's very unusual that they grant bail in extradition cases. So um, we are grateful that this has happened and it shows to us that there might be, uh, on the political level, and there might be, on the judicial level, a, a solution in this case possible. But um, Paul, neither Paul nor me will, um, will answer questions on the case itself. So this okay. is it. Can you give us a rough idea on the timeline? When will that be resolved? So under under the extradition um, regime and under the law, um, Costa Rica has to show um, all the extradition papers within a time frame of three months after the, the arrest. So we are waiting now if something has come along from Costa Rica. If no papers will come along in the extradition case, the case will be over after three months. So it, at this stage it's only waiting and we are just expecting on the political level probably some solutions and maybe this will take uh, or will come along very soon. We have a president's visit on Wednesday by Costa Rica's president so this is what Paul was going to say to you and we'll give a statement on that so we will see what happens on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll go to Berlin uh, on Wednesday and um, I believe that there's going to be demonstrations uh, around the world uh, against uh, you know Costa Rica on this. Uh, so we'll see, see what happens. I'm also going to be having a, a press conference on, uh, in Cannes on Wednesday, although I won't be there. I'll be here, but we'll be doing it by, uh, by uh, short, short circuit TV, I guess. Uh, so there's, um, you know, it's an ongoing thing. But I want to stress one thing, that uh, this doesn't impact our campaigns to protect whales in Antarctica. It doesn't impact our campaigns to protect sharks. My ships will continue to do what they do. My crew will be there and um, whether I'm there or not. So uh, this isn't going to stop our activities uh, to protect our oceans. So who is to blame for your arrest? Is it, is it Germany? Is it uh, the German authorities? Or is it uh, Japan? Or? It's coincidence to me that uh, this uh, extradition uh, uh, demand was put out in October of 2011, which coincides exactly when the Japanese uh, uh, laid a civil charge against us in the United States, which they lost. Uh, but it all seems like, for instance, you know, J Japan took $35 million from the earthquake tsunami relief fund to be used against us. And I don't think that when people donated that money that they thought that that was what it was going to be used for. But they've been using it to uh, do PR and illegal uh, challenges against our activities, against their illegal operations. Do you think there's a connection between the visit of the President of Costa Rica and your arrest plan last week? No, I, I think that's probably coincidental. Uh, you know, I just happened to be coming here. Uh, uh, I was certainly wasn't aware that the, they, they certainly weren't aware I was coming here, so I think that's coincidental. How do you feel after the last week? I mean, I imagine it wasn't the worst thing you ever experienced. 
Uh, what can I say about German prisons? They're boring. <laughs> uh, very boring. Uh, I, you know, certainly nobody mistreated me or anything, but uh, I, I just find that it's, um, I, I find it amazing that the people who are out there are destroying our oceans continue to go yeah. freely about destroying our oceans, and yeah. people who try to stop them end up in jail. Yeah. But was it the first time you were actually in prison? Uh, no, I've been uh, arrested many times in the past. I've not been convicted. But, uh, you know, when you're trying to do what we do, uh, you're going to find yourself in trouble with the powers that be. Uh, there's a lot of vested interests in protecting, uh, you know, the, those uh, industries which are profiting from destroying our oceans. Yeah. Any other questions you would like to raise? You traveled to, through Europe so much, and uh, I, I guess you were really surprised when you uh, I mean, you arrested here in Germany. Uh, I've actually been back and forth uh, to Europe many times since this extradition uh, demand was put out by Costa Rica, but uh, Interpol had dismissed it. I wasn't even aware of that. Uh, apparently, Germany is the only country where uh, they don't really take uh, regard about Interpol dismissing it or not. So I don't really understand what the particular laws are here, but uh, uh, it seems that they uh, this was uh, the wrong place to come. <laughs> Do you think that there, there was a, um, there a connection between the Japanese authorities and the German authorities in this case before no. your arrestment? I, I have no idea. I do know that Japan has been putting pressure everywhere they can. Australia, Canada, yeah, you know, the Netherlands. Uh, so, I mean, the Japanese want to stop us. Uh, we've saved over 4,000 whales in the Southern Ocean. And uh, this is called the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. It's called a sanctuary for a reason. That is, you don't kill whales in the sanctuary. And uh, so Japan's very upset. The fact is, is we accomplished what we set out to do a number of years ago, which was to sink the Japanese whaling fleet economically, to bankrupt them. They're bankrupt, and now they're angry. Did you come to Germany the last 10 years? Uh, yeah, actually, I was in Hamburg uh, last November uh, for the Hamburg Film Festival. And you weren't arrested, apparently? No, no. Did you receive our, our mail? I, I did receive some, but not all. <laughs> yes, <laughs> The problem was that you uh, that you confused the ship traffic, is that true? And isn't that always the problem? What do you mean? So the charges in Costa Rica, if you don't yeah. mind, the charges in Costa Rica is confusing. Uh, it's, it's only about navigation at this stage. So this is what we know from the Costa Rican arrest warrant that has been issued and that has been first um, put into the system by the Interpol Red Notice and then has been withdrawn by Interpol. We are trying to find out for what reason Interpol has withdrawn this arrest warrant and asked all the member states of Interpol not to come up with any arrest of Mr. Watson. So, but in fact, this goes in the media. We are not talking about attempted murder or, or something like that. It was only a navigation charge, nothing more. Yeah, I should stress nobody was injured, no property was damaged, no property was stolen. Uh, hundreds of lives of sharks were saved. That was the whole thing. So are you quite sure that Germany is the only country in which you could have been arrested, that all the other countries uh, wouldn't do this? So, so do what know? we know is that Interpol issued in January this year a notice that the arrest warrant will be not longer been in the Interpol system. So that means that on the international level there was a decision by Interpol because of Article 3 of their statutes that we have an arrest warrant on political motivations. So this is what we know. We do not know exactly which countries follow this advice by Interpol. All we know is that Germany at this stage do not follow, does not follow this advice. And we check with Homeland Security in the United States and there's no, uh, there's no uh, extradition of uh, demand there at all. Mr. Watson, there was an overwhelming solidarity movement in Germany. Uh, for example, the ONG uh, Rainforest Rescue Red in Regenhardt was collecting more than 30,000 um, signatures in three days. Was he uh, aware of that or expecting that? No, but I certainly appreciate it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that uh, one of the things that uh, you know, we've learned over the years is that the conservation environmental movement is one of diversity. And that's where the strength of any uh, movement lies is in diversity. So uh, we found this in our last campaign in Australia. We had people from the forest coming to work to protect whales. And uh, because everything's interdependent, everything's connected. So uh, we certainly appreciate that. Any other questions? Any messages to the Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a message. Uh, stop killing whales in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. 
You know, this is the 21st century. Leave the whales alone, and leave the dolphins alone also. Get me Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That is the smallest camera I've ever seen. <laughs>